God is saying to you today, if you are waiting on God, that means that you are doing everything possible with what God has already given you. You are stepping through every open door, using all your gifts and abilities, and maximizing your opportunities. You are taking action on the little clarity you do have instead of doing nothing because you can't see the full picture right now. You are doing the best you can with what you have in front of you, staying ready for God's leading. If God is waiting you, he has 3-7 already giving you everything you need to take your next step of faith, and you have enough clarity to know what you need to do next. But you are overthinking, depending on your own strength, and forgetting how God has already led you in the past. God has prepared the way and he has prepared you. He has done his part and is now waiting on you to do yours. This moment has been in the making for years and you need to own the moment. Type yes if you are ready. Wait on God with faith and intentionality. Wait with purpose. Wait making the most of what's already in your heart. Show God that you can be trusted with what he has already given you. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Here are some possible reasons why your door hasn't opened yet. Your character isn't ready yet. What's coming isn't ready for you. You are in a preparation season. God is clearing your path. You need to heal first. God has given you everything you need to open your own door, and he is waiting on you. Your greatest hindrance is often the fear of other people's opinions. Remember, your identity doesn't come from other people. Your value doesn't come from other people. Your purpose doesn't come from other people, and your gifts don't come from other people. Focus on God. Develop your gifts. Take your next step of faith. Type, I claim it, if you receive this declaration. If you want a different life, you have to start doing things differently. It starts in your head. Your new narrative is that you are loved by God. You have incredible value. You aren't defined by your past. You haven't missed your opportunity. And your story isn't over. Now start leading yourself like someone who recognizes their worth. You need life-giving habits and routines every day. Be ruthlessly consistent. Get around the right people who make you better. You need a stronger circle. Finally, start helping others. You will always end up feeling empty if you are only serving yourself. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Leverage your story to give other people strength and look for purpose in your pain. You are so much closer than you think to a completely different life. May the Lord's face shine upon you. Today, you could be standing next to someone who is trying their best to not fall apart. Give them a little extra encouragement. Help them see their greatness and say something that will empower them take another step forward. They may be praying for a sign that God has not abandoned them and that he still cares, and that sign is you. Be present. Be kind. You are about to step into the unknown, and this next chapter will require courage, strength, and faith. This is not a time to depend on what you have always done. 
This is the time to get serious about your preparation for what is coming next. Be ready. Stay ready. Remember, what got you to where you are today will not get you to where God needs you to be in the future. You can't depend on what worked in the past. Get focused. Tie amen if you agree. Don't miss what you have now pursuing what you want later. Keep an eye on the future, but put your focus on the present. You have blessings in front of you, people who need you, and a purpose that calls you right now. How well you steward today will determine what you build tomorrow. Your legacy is established one day at a time. Don't wait to be ready. You'll never be. Take action, regardless of how you feel and make the most of every single day. I know you feel stuck in this chapter and part of you believes this will be your new normal. You see other people experiencing breakthroughs and answered prayers wondering if your turn will ever come. God wants you to know that your greatest chapter is ahead of you and your prayers will be answered. Tide payment below. God is saying to you today, I know you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you are really strong enough or good enough to do what I placed in your heart to do. This message is here to remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't you dare give up or let fear talk you out of your dream. Remember, I am with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Check bio link to secret of attract money. Link in comment section. Don't speak things that kill you dreams and make you question your value and potential. Speak life over yourself. Speak faith. Speak grace. Speak hope. Even if you don't feel it, speak it. Come on, you know the power of your words. Speak what God has said about you over and over until you finally believe it. Let go of the old words, phrases, jokes, and language that has been holding you back for years. God is doing a new thing, and you need to start speaking in a new way. You are doubting God's leading again, and there is no way you can see this all coming together. You have forgotten your track record, your resume, and the fact that you are still here through everything you've been through. Remember that time God showed up for you, and the other time He showed up for you and the other time he showed up for you. This isn't your first storm and it won't be the first time that God will make a way. He's got you and he's gone before you. Type yes to claim it. Constantly scrolling through life makes you think you are not where you were supposed to be. You are too far behind or you've missed your opportunity altogether. What if you are exactly where God needs you to be? What if this moment needs you fully present? Stop scrolling and start maximizing your moment. Be grateful for who you are, what you have, and what God is doing in you and through you. There are moves happening that you can't see according to a greater plan. The hardest parts of God's process are intentionally designed to do deep work inside of you for what is ahead of you. If you jump ship when things are difficult in exchange for what is easy, you sacrifice your opportunity to steward and care for what is coming next. Take a breath and remember if God brought you to it, He will bring you through it. God didn't make the Red Sea disappear for Moses, he made a way through the sea. Stay focused, keep trusting, and continue leading. God's guide you.
type yes if you believe. What if God has given you this assignment because it's setting up your next assignment? What if this chapter is about the work God is doing in you and the people he wants to impact through you? You can be so focused on getting to the next season that you miss the purpose in front of you. God wants to use you where you are at right now. Be present and crush your assignment. You'll know when it's time to step into what's coming next. He'll tell you. They didn't reject you, God protected you. They didn't leave you, God removed them because they weren't meant for you. God closed the doors that limited your greatness. God redirected you, Bexus, he has a purpose for you. God hasn't abandoned you, he is growing you. God hasn't forgotten about you, his timing is perfect, and your time will come. God sees your pain and he won't waste it. God often isolates before he elevates. God plans are always greater than your. What you're about to discover today is life changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries, and the next minute, you're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it. Your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now. Dot while this page is still live. Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. Type. I'm optimistic. If you're ready, the storm will change you. That's what struggle does. It humbles you. It builds you. And it strengthens you. There will be moments in every storm where you are convinced that you are breaking. But God is building you. Stay faithful and focused. The storm will not sink the boat. Stop running from what you have one three been praying for. If you ask for wisdom, you're going to have problems to solve. If you ask for strength, you're going to struggle. If you ask for a breakthrough, it will feel like you're breaking. If you ask for courage, you will face giants. If you ask for an open door, you'll have to let all the wrong doors close. If you ask for more faith, you'll have to overcome more fear. If you ask for healing, you need to get help and do the hard work. Don't waste the best years of your life doing something you hate because you are afraid to start over. Remember, you are not starting over from scratch, you are starting over from experience. You are not too late and you have not missed your opportunity. Sometimes you have to close a door for a new door to open. Stop trying to define who you are what you do. You are not your career. You are a leader and most importantly a child of God. As long as you have clarity on who you are and what is most important right now, that's all that matters. You don't need to explain what you're doing to anyone. There is no need to seek other people's approval when you already have God's approval. Most people won't understand your journey anyway because it's not their story, it's yours. Keep your identity rooted in God. As far as your career, keep doing what makes the most sense to you right now, even if it doesn't make sense to anyone else. You've never been at this place in your life before, so give yourself some grace and know that you and God will figure it out. And don't worry if you can't explain what your career looks like right now to someone else. You don't owe anyone an explanation. If people need an update 
Update them on who you are a child of God always. Somebody is begging God for the opportunity you have right now. Don't you dare sleep on what you have been given. Shake off the doubt, insecurity, memory of the past, lack of motivation, and lies you are telling yourself that just aren't true. God has been preparing you for this moment for years, don't miss it. You have what it take and he is with you. Your courage will unlock the courage in others. Not everyone has your opportunity, respect that. Type 1 AM Sovereign to claim. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. God knows exactly when something has served its purpose, even though you can't always see it. Life is seasonal and a season often has to end so a new season can begin. He is already setting up what is coming next for you. What feels like a huge loss now will end up being a huge gain. You'll see so enough. He is preparing you for what's coming and he is preparing what's coming for you. Trust the God of the process. This is for everyone carrying a heavy burden and heart in silence. Take a breath and remember that you and God have faced challenges together before. You've made it through what you thought was impossible and he made a way even when all doors seemed closed. This is not your first time feeling anxious and overwhelmed. You're going to make it, and in time you'll see a miracle in all of this. Keep pushing forward. The move you're scared to make might be the one that unlocks what you are hoping and praying for. If you're honest, you know what your next move is and what you need to do next. You just need to believe in yourself, trust God, prepare the best you can, and take your step of courage. No matter what happens, you are defined by God and what He has said about you. Don't walk by fear, walk by faith. You got this. Type. I embrace my power to affirm. Walk into that room like God sent you there because he did. You stepped in already chosen, already worthy, and already enough. Let those doubts and insecurities go. This is your time. Be confident in who God says you are and the value you bring. What is happening is not by accident. You've been prepared for this. Thank you for not giving up. I know questioned if the struggle was worth it, and you doubted if you would ever experience a breakthrough and better days. You fell a few times, but you kept getting back up, refusing to be defined by your failures. You believed in yourself even when no one else did, and you took God at his word. If he said it, you chose to believe it. You took extreme ownership of your life. You didn't cast blame on others, and you healed and became stronger. Your pain has turned into your purpose. Please know that I am so proud of you. It's in the lowest point in your life sometimes that God will find you. You will get to the point of living out your ways and doing things your way to avoid the pain of your spiritual walk. The thing is, God will find you there, and he will have you start walking again. We do have a choice, but it's almost hard to pass up this beautiful offer. He knows your most honest and truest desires, the ones you bury deep. He offers to not only bless you, but to show you the best kind of love and faithfulness. 
His love is unconditional and He is faithful when we are faithless. You are not stagnant, you are surrendered. I understand that you're convinced that you're behind, but all this time, you've been trusting wholeheartedly within the plan of the divine, and he has not overlooked your resilience and endurance upon holding on to the hope that he will bring his will to fruition in due time. Yet it's been absolute agony for you, he comprehends, to keep hoping and waiting with expectation, when the suffering seems to be constant and without end. Though your sweet soul must surely know that you will not be disappointed as you trust and let go. For your heart does not deserve to hold on to the pressures of this world. God has got this, and he's in control. And his heart remains wholeheartedly devoted to bless you more beautifully than you could ever dream or know. It's easy to go through life wondering how things are going to work out, hoping you make the right decisions, and being stressed over your finances. You don't have to worry about your future. Every part of your life was divinely orchestrated even before you were formed in your mother's womb. God has already laid out the plan. This was supposed to happen, that was supposed to happen. God is working all things out according to his will. Not according to who likes you, how much talent you have, what your bank account says, how many friends you have, what family you came from, or how many mistakes you've made. Activate the flow of unlimited wealth, happiness, pleasure, freedom, and confidence into your life by making one tiny change to your morning routine. Would you want it? Check link in comments below to know the wealth secrets to attract an abundance of wealth. Type. I claim it. If you receive this declaration. As difficult as the storm is, don't jump ship. Don't second guess what God has placed in you to do despite the waves crashing all around you. Ignore the lies of the enemy. The enemy wants you to quit and give up. God knows it's hard. He is not deaf to your cries nor blind to your tears. A harvest is coming your way. A harvest of peace, a harvest of blessings, a harvest of healing, a harvest of abundance. Everything that you have been waiting, crying, searching, and praying for is about to come your way. The only thing you have to do is not give up. Don't throw in the towel. Persevere and count it all joy. You will reap everything that you have sown in faith if you feign not. God has a plan. When things happen that we don't understand, it's easy to think. Why did this happen? Why did this friend betray me? Why did this company lay me off? Why didn't I get that promotion? You can't let the things you don't understand keep you stuck on the same page in the story of your life. You have to decide to turn the page so that you can see the victory waiting for you in the next chapter. If you are facing a difficulty today, know that God's plan is to turn it around and use it for your good. The story of your life isn't over. Keep moving forward, keep believing, keep hoping, keep forgiving because your days are written out for good and it's time to turn the page and the blessing he has in store for your life God is saying to you today. You are being presented with a choice, evolve or remain. If you choose to remain unchanged, you will be presented with the same challenges, the same routine, the same storms, the same situations, until you learn from them 
until you love yourself enough to say no more until you choose change. If you choose to evolve, you will connect with the strength within you. You will explore what lies outside of the comfort zone. You will awaken to love. You will become, you will be. You have everything you need. Choose to evolve. Choose love. God has a stimulus package for you. If you put God first, he will put you first. It is going to cost you everything to the do the things that God has called you to do. If you can bear the weight of your cross, he will bear the weight of your crown. Trust him with your destiny. He has something divine in store for you that is beyond all that you can imagine or think. Your muscles may be sore, but they work. You may not have slept well last night, but God did wake you up. Your wallet may not be full, but your belly is. You may not have it all, but God gives you what you need. Your life may not be perfect, but your life is good. If you've been blessed, give God praise. Take care of yourself. Type yes if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord. To support our channel, please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.